So these are the new iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max and this video was shot entirely using those phones. I just want to quickly go over what's new and what I think about the new changes and features as well as unbox the new devices. And the one unfortunate change this year is that the unboxing experience is just getting more and more boring. Removing the wall charger is one thing we've been used to that for a few years now. But removing the stickers, that's where I draw the line, it's truly the end of an era. New change this year to the Pro lineup is that these phones have gotten bigger not just in display, but they are physically taller than the previous models. Now the Pro is up from 6.1 to 6.3 inch, and the iPhone 16 Pro Max is up from 6.7 to 7 to 6.9 inch, and it definitely feels bigger in the hand. It's not just a bezel reduction, it's actually a larger phone. Now, unfortunately, Apple said that this iPhone 16 Pro Max is going to have the best battery in iPhone ever. And so that makes me want to use this as my daily driver. But I really did like the size of the new 6.3 inch iPhone 16 Pro. So it's going to be a tough one for me to decide on. Now we talked quite a bit about the new camera control button here underneath the power button in our iPhone 16 first impressions video which you can click the card in the upper right corner and check it out but I do really like the idea of this button but it's going to take some getting used to. When it comes to the gestures and the button placement regardless having a button dedicated to launching the camera app and taking photos and videos super quickly is something I can get behind. It's just those double taps and those little lighter presses that are just hard to get used to. Now the cameras have gone through a little bit of a change as well specifically the ultra wide lens. We now have a 48 megapixel sensor and next week I'll be doing full videos dedicated to the camera, maybe some camera comparisons. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. There's also new photographic styles and this is across the entire lineup that you have the new tone mapping pad whenever you try to go and edit the photographic styles which is nice you can kind of swipe around and find the perfect look and feel for each of your shots. Each photographic style will let you edit the mood and I think this helps get your photos to another level. One of the more impressive features is the new 4K 120 frames per second video that you can take and this is just for the Pro and Pro Max. Also one more cool thing about this is that you can actually change the frame rate to anything that you want between 2, 4, 30, 60 or 120 frames per second in the Photos app. So once you take a video, if you decide that you want to change the frame rate, just go in the edit there and you'll be able to select that which is pretty cool. As I mentioned earlier, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is set to have the best in class for battery life. And obviously I just got this a few hours ago. So I can't really tell you if that's true. So I'll have to save that for my full review, but also I'll have to save my over thoughts on the new A18 chip and its performance and power efficiency and just overall how I feel about it. And the one big thing about the A18 and the A18 Pro chip is that it's Apple intelligence enabled that. The whole thing that you need for Apple intelligence and that's the biggest new thing about these phones aside from all the camera features and it's not out yet. So if you were wondering where is Apple intelligence, how do I try all of that out well? if you bought a new iPhone 16. 16 plus 16 Pro 16 Pro Max you actually don't have it yet. So Apple intelligence is going to be changing a lot for your phone. The whole new Siri, all of those AI features will be coming later. So this is what you get right now. In terms of what's new, if you just bought a new iPhone 16 or 16 Pro phone. And if you did, let me know which one did you get however. All of the clips this video was shot entirely using an iPhone 16 Pro or Pro Max. So how is the audio? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. This being Ali thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.